Nine signs your husband is still madly in love with you. One Netflix and no chill Friday too many and it can be easy to fall down the what does this really mean for our marriage rabbit hole. But Stan Tatkin, a psychologist and author of Wired for Love, says that if you're worried he's fallen out of love, try to rest easy because it's likely not the case. Instead, he's probably downshifted into a different kind of love. At the beginning of all successful relationships, the constant excitement of new love produces a lot of dopamine, which is the same neurotransmitter that's stimulated when a drug addict takes their drug of choice, he says. It's exhilarating, but temporary. Quiet love, on the other hand, comes into the picture when that exhilaration starts to fade, it's a calm but alert state couples get into when they're fully relaxed and engaged with one another, he explains. So if you need some signs, hey, who doesn't love signs? that your husband is indeed quietly in love with you, here are eight that show he isn't going anywhere. He knows you hate doing the damn dishes, so he does them. When you've been together for years, it's obvious that your husband knows your likes and dislikes. But if you want to know if he loves you, see how he adjusts to your irritation triggers. If he knows the three or four things that will always hurt you or put you off balance, and then knows just what to do to either avoid them or get you up and running again when they do happen, then consider him your antidote, says Tatkin. So rather than picking a fight because it's your turn to take care of the dishes, you're more likely to find him loading up the machine before bed. Just remember to return the favor and handle something that drives him batty, or at least consider taking dish duty as a thank you, because he probably doesn't love that chore either. He wants to learn more. If your hubby always wants to talk about more personal matters, ones that involve the two of you and your bond, not who's in charge of school drop-off this week, it's clear that after all your years together, he still wants to get to know you deeper. That shows he's still interested in, rather than seeing you as someone he thinks he already knows, you're someone he continually wants to learn about, Tatkin says. He plans date nights. Great marriages don't just happen. They're created by partners who continually put effort into wanting to please their partner, says Mary Jo Robini, LPC, sex therapist and intimacy expert. If he takes the lead on planning date nights, that means he cares about strengthening your bond. There is no better way to experience the incredible feeling of being connected and intimate with one person than to plan a date night for your spouse. He displays little signs of affection. Yes. Those little things count. You've heard this before and that's because it matters, says Rockini. It's the little things you do for each other that help keep you emotionally stable and feeling good about your life no matter what you're going through. Those little things can be as simple as holding hands or saying I love you. According to a recent survey conducted by eHarmony, for the happiest couples it was really about open communication, participating in regular activities together, like camping or even just date night. Compromise and even little gestures like holding hands and saying I love you daily that kept their connection strong, says Jeannie Asimos, eHarmony's chief of advice. He checks in with you throughout the day. A little hard eyes emoji actually says a lot. In fact, Rapini tells her clients to take many catch-ups with your partner throughout the day. Marriage research suggests it takes only two minutes of conversation for couples to feel connected. Make a schedule when you begin this in your marriage because it requires that sort of commitment. He tries to spice things up in bed. If he busts out the loop and the sex toys, don't take it as an insult, that's good news. It's normal and common for a woman's sexual desire to fluctuate throughout any given month, from hormones, to stress, says Rapini. A husband that loves you will try to think of new ways to make the bedroom exciting, like introducing a personal lubricant, I love Replin Silky Smooth, or trying a device like Fairy that works to enhance female sexual desire and get her body excited and ready for sex when the moment is right. And who doesn't want an excuse to try out a new sex toy? He says yes to your suggestions. It's easy to take this as a sign of disinterest, but Paul Coleman, a psychologist and author of Finding Peace When Your Heart Is In Pieces, says that when men are in love, they usually appear less enthusiastic than women do simply because of their serotonin levels. Seriously, research shows that men who are in love have lower serotonin levels. The amount of serotonin you have in your body as a woman makes you act happy and show it more, says Coleman. 
but because men's levels aren't as high, they don't feel the need to do that, they're happy showing you love by agreeing to do whatever it is you want to do, even if it's just sitting next to you and watching TV. Rather than being frustrated because you're the one coming up with date night ideas, look at it as an opportunity to branch out and try something different. He says your first name during sex. It's part of the norm to call each other babe, honey, or even mama, throughout the day, hey, sometimes it's just easier when you have kids, but Tatkin says that if he says your first name in the midst of sex, it's a sign that he's fully present in the moment with you and doesn't want to be intimate with anyone else. Another clue? Eye contact, both in and out of the bedroom. He'll go to that thing party without whining. Picture this, on the rare night that you're able to get a sitter, there's a Gatsby-esque birthday party happening for your bestie's 40th. You know your hump will essentially kick and scream the whole way because he hates big parties and dressing up. Then again, maybe he won't. If he doesn't give you grief, okay, he can once or twice, guys think these things are over the top, then he's showing you love. When you say that you really want him with you and then he just puts on his party clothes without grumbling, he's putting aside his own preferences and tastes to make you happy, says Sophia Dembling, author of Introverts in Love, The Quiet Way to Happily Ever After. He wouldn't do that if he didn't love you, proving that sometimes what he doesn't do speaks louder than what he does.